notion that the teachers were using misconceptions more mm -hmm. as a as a way into mathematical thinking and student mm -hmm. engagement. Could you talk mm -hmm. more about that? Our teachers, um, and in particular the teachers who are in the focus group, are looking at misconceptions as more of a positive now. And, um, in teachable moments, using the students' information as teachable moments. Teachers are also allowing students to defend their thinking and really um, explain to their classmates, explain to the teacher how they arrived at their answer, which helps the teacher then help process and plan further for instruction to help that student. And then students are able to now ask their peers questions. Well, how did you arrive at that? And, you know, um, you know act, asking them to basically explain more in detail. It yes. seems more okay to maybe not have the answer, right. or be struggling with it, right. or maybe all of a sudden in having conversations either with their teachers or with each other, coming to the realization that maybe their answer is incorrect. Yes. And so being okay with that. Yes, yeah, so inquiry is okay. Inquiry is okay because that's what is basically based on you know you're you're not sure you're inquiring you want to problem solve you want to dig deeper into the mathematics um, and so that is definitely a, a culture shift the biggest thing is student achievement that's where we, that's where we want all students to um, be successful in mathematics to go to high school and college and feel confident about the mathematics Student performance, I would say, looking at uh, formative and looking at the data in a summative and formative way, I see improvements in student test scores, not only the California State test, but also school-wide um, monthly assessments. I see that the students are making progress. What, what kinds of things are being done here for those kids that are struggling, those kids that aren't? necessarily have access to the at grade level math standards at any given time is engaged. Right. A lot of differentiation um, within the classroom. The teachers are um, pulling small groups of students to the side, modifying assignments, um, and having student, you know, using the different strategies of having a student who is struggling work with a student who can help them understand. Um, also, like after school math club, um, help students and it, it, the program is actually designed around student misconceptions so that it's not the same, the kids aren't getting more of the same from the classroom but it's taking um, a, another approach um, on the wider level for students.